Hello you what's his faces and welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get cool fonts and how to get stylish fonts. I'm gonna explain three ways This is good for just about anything any game that you want to um, put them on any social media app or even if you're texting the first way is a bit easier second way a little bit harder than third it's gonna take some time but either way you'll still get some pretty cool fonts so the first way I'm gonna show you is using fancy key and so what you want to do is you got gonna, you're gonna want to go to the Play Store so let me go to the Play Store real quick I'm at the Play Store all you have to do is look up fancy key and there we go the fancy key keyboard um what you do is you just open it well after you install it you open it and you just equip it and basically set the preferences to what you want and it's as simple as that so whenever you want to type something so let me go into quick memo quickly and let's make a new one so whenever you want to type something all you have to do is go to fonts cool fonts and you have these there are a lot of them these fonts to choose from it keeps the font in just about any way you want well not any way you want but so as you type it trans translates your regular text into those particular fonts so hi hello so if you're playing a game that's how you can get cooler cooler fonts without having to do a whole bunch of hard stuff this is a really easy way and it's a really fun app hello and like let's say you're texting your friends you want to um, talk only cool letters it shows like your personality through a text okay that is the first way hello you what's his faces and this is the second way I know I don't have them in order, but yes, the second way. So the next thing, um, next possible way you can do is use fancy text. And by that, um, um, how to use this, you just type in anything you want. So, hello. Where is it? Hello. And it changes it. Well, right now I have a fancy text, but um, so it doesn't really do anything. So let me just go to my font, cool font. Where is it? Normal font. And you type hi. So you have all these different little fancy set um, fancy text and the th difference about this and how you can use it to your advantage is when you go to custom you can customize exactly which font you actually want so let's just say you want to have a cool name for a game you put certain letters in so you enter your text here um, so like a good name for a game I don't know monkey guy monkey dude monkey dude Okay, so you have those um, characters right there. So all you do is go to, let's say, M, change the M to your preference, like that. And just keep on changing it until you like it. This is also another simple way. So yeah, Monkey Dude, if you wanted to have that as your a name. So this also goes hand in hand with another way. It, they're like um, partners. So basically, you can go anywhere, like any website, even use fancy text. Let's say you're on a computer, you go to any fancy web, um, fancy text generating website. It will take you some time, maybe like 10 minutes for just one name. But copy each little letter, put it into a Google Drive doc, and so whenever you want to access it, all you have to do is go to Google Drive, and you can access it. Where is it? Um, I mean, Google Docs, not, well, same difference. So yeah, go Google Docs, and my most recent thing, I actually uploaded with Bluetooth, and I have all these cool little names you can have. So, yeah, 
I actually got those off of a computer, made them, and, because there's usually more options. And yeah, but this is how to do it on an Android. So after you have that, you go, um, go into whatever game you want and you can just put it there. So this allows you more customization and if you just want to have a singular name because you can do way more stuff with it. Okay, so there is one pro um, there's also one problem with this. Some games and some very few apps, but usually some games will not allow you to actually do this. It'll say something like those are illegal characters or something like that. And with when this is done, if you, you don't really care about other people seeing how your name is or how your name looks, there's a few, um, there's two ways. Like, if you care about how people see how your name is, you can go get certain characters that look cool. It'll be hard to find, but, um, that look cool, but aren't illegal and still in the character range that they allow. And I'll show you some of those. And then, you can, if you don't care about what people think, you can actually go into an APK editor right here and you can edit the game so that it allows the font that you want and it'll show up so th this is the third step hello you what's his faces and here I'm here I am with the actual third step and so it's the unit code chart map it basically a um it's not necessarily the third step but you can find really cool fonts for the um, particular um how to say in the same font range so your game still allows you to type in your fonts so j about most of these from up to here you can type well yeah you can even just go lower this is good for just um about any game I mean anything like encompasses all of the other three steps well not three steps but three ways but it is incredibly long like if you want to find something in here you better save it because it, it's incredibly hard to get but it's really re rewarding and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it so I don't know if you guys see my channel homepage but I use a combination uh, I use this actually to have cool letters in my um, channel homepage and I'll actually show you that at the end so yeah um, the best way to do this if um, you can actually use this if you're making or just taking a picture of something so if you want to make a homepage you want to make a page to your website it goes for just about anything all you have to do is get this and it works perfectly with um, I don't know if you guys have seen the seen Fonto but it works really well Fonto but it also works with pixel lab and so with pixel lab you can actually just put it any text you want so let me you can type in any text you want and most of the time well actually just about 100% of the time it can take these fonts and the way you can do this is actually pretty um it's a pretty hard way well, it's not hard it's just tedious I, I would say it's tedious so let's say you want to take a pretty cool font and like you can't um the, yeah you cannot see any of these fonts because I have not activated my personal fonts use noto fonts so um yeah I still haven't activated them I actually haven't downloaded on my phone but I haven't activated them and I will be making a separate video on how to use noto fonts so if you like this video um please get subscribe and give a like but yeah, continuing, so let's say I want to do a fancier font, or is one, uh, uh, um, just wait, okay, I cannot find one currently, but, um, there's just so many letters and so many little cool font things that it's almost, it's just hard font, so yeah, let's try that right there, and let's try that one right there. And so all we have to do, oh yeah that one that kind of looks like a fidget spinner or whatever and so yeah I'm just gonna collect a few so all you do is you just copy them and you have them copied copy the clip tray you go to pixel lab and when you put them in you just paste and those actually go but if they didn't go I'm gonna show, go more in depth but this is just a really quick way um, if you guys already know how to do it 
So what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to um, where is it? Um, fonts. So text, not text size. I'm a little. Okay, yeah, there we go. Fonts. And what you're gonna go want to go do is my fonts. And so I actually have fonts in here. Just having um, yeah, I've actually a lot. It takes up a decent amount of space, but all I have to do is um actually activate them and unzip the files and then they're all they will all show up down here and you can click it and so sometimes the particular fonts you want are have little black have little squares or have a square with an x in between them which are on here so if you look right here yeah it should some of them have an actual square with an x beat uh, x in it and you cannot see them that's because i don't have my note of fonts activated but once i activate it you would actually be able to see it and you can use those cool fonts. I'm gonna call them forbidden fonts, and you put them in here. Um, it when it first when you first do it, it will show up as little squares, not squares with X's in them, but it will show up as squares. And then once you do that, all you have to do is you just put um, the font. All you have to do is just put um, select whichever font you want. So each of these are certain types of font. Um, like are certain types of fonts. So if like you hold it. Um, no, not that one. Basically, they all go, like some are Tibetan noto fonts, some are um, hieroglyphic noto fonts. So basically, all you have to do is put them um, in, and you're good. So that's basically it for the video. But if you guys want to see how I actually use this in my um, channel, stay tuned. So I guess I'm back. I, you guys probably didn't see it. But here, so what I want to actually let me pause it real quick. Okay, I'm back, and if you look right here, um, this right, um, that little thing right there is a note of font that is, and that is, and these are not normal characters. So that's how I made my little icon. If you go to the um, side right here, that little squiggle and that, um, this entire line are they are all fonts from the Unicode, and that's a better way to see it and that's another way so if you have a website if you game if you do basically anything on a social media platform because gaming is like a social media anything with multiple people this is a very cool thing to be able to do and it allows more people to say hmm let me actually look at that it brings people's attention in so if you like the video please um, give a like and if you want to see more subscribe by the way, if you would like me to go more in depth on how to actually use the Unicode um, app to get more particular fonts for the like for the Pixel Lab, and um, so yeah, where is it? Yeah, the Pixel Lab, and so you actually want to be able to use cooler fonts. Um, ask so ask for in ask for it in the description. But if you um, yeah, you were J Tigon, adios.